You gotta have, you gotta have, you gotta have knowledge for knowledge for life. You gotta have, you gotta have, you gotta have knowledge. I mean, France for non, I believe it was France for non that outlined three things. Who right, are we? Right. Where are we? And are we all that we ought to be in this world? Right. right. We have to ask those critical questions. Franz Fanon said that a long time ago. Are you following me? Oh, yeah. right. So in putting those things under the microscope, we have to understand a basic fundamental definition of what we're about to deal with today. So in connecting the seven principles of Kwanzaa to hip hop, we first have to define what is hip hop. All right. So if hip hop is something that you are and rap is something that you do, then that needs to be defined. Right. Are you following me? Mm -hmm. So Professor Smalls teaches us this, that if you go to any church on any Sunday, sit quiet and listen to the rhythms of the hand claps and the, and the sisters tapping their feet. Right, right. You could go to any village in Africa and hear them same patterns and them Come same on. rhythms. Yes, Am I right or wrong? That's right. Man. So what is it that's locked in our genetical code that we need the key to unlock it? Come on. So in metaphysics, in metaphysics, if they teach us as above, so below, as within, so without, we have to understand that. Right. That that same genetical code that's locked into me here in um, either Milwaukee, St. Louis, Dayton, New York, L.A., Miami, is the same thing that runs through the veins <coughs> and the brothers and sisters on the continent. Come on, right. That's, right. All right. that's right. The all right. only thing that's keeping us apart is probably a language barrier. And the fact that they feel that we never came back home. Right. Are you following me? Yes. Hell, we're trying to get home. You know that's right. But it's that white noise that's preventing us from getting back. Oh. Hell, my passport's about to run out. <laughs> I got to go see the people downtown to get back to Africa. Right. That's a hell of a thing there. Yes, it is. A minute ago, they were saying, go back where you came from. Hell, I'm trying to get back. Right. Right. Are you following me? Yes. Yes. But if we take or put under the microscope those same patterns and rhythms, are the same patterns and rhythms used the same way in America as we used them and still are using them on the continent? Right. Let's stop for a second and ask us that, answer that question. What energy are the sisters bringing to the Baptist or the Christian religion? Mm. If a Christian is one who's crystallized into the oneness with God through his example, Christ, and the brothers on the continent and sisters on the continent are not claiming that at all, what do we have in common mm. as far as the rhythms are concerned? Right. Are you following me? Right. So my father's father, who was Blackfoot, Native American, when we wanted to grow crops in the backyard for vegetable, make the vegetables grow and the plants grow, we did a dance. Mm. We chanted. Mm. We sang songs. Right. This is the same thing they do on the continent, and it's the same thing we do in church. Mm -hmm. Am I right or wrong? That's right. That's right. That's right. See, we need to understand that. But what if I told you all of that is the basis of what hip-hop is about? Huh. Come on. And those, def those divine principles that we learned on the continent of Africa are there in hip-hop. We right. just don't recognize them. That's right. Every hip-hop song starts off with the beat. That's right. That's right. Right or wrong? That's right. The beat is the heartbeat to every song. Right. Did we not come over here with the drum and wasn't that the first thing they took from us? Yes. That's right, yes. The inability to communicate with one another without speaking. Right. Because remember, when they took us and put us on the ships, we were from different tribes in different parts of Africa. That's right. Are you following me? That was done on purpose so we couldn't communicate with one another. Come on, brother. But we had the drum. That's right. Mm -hmm. That drum. And then on the plantation, when they heard the drum and they seen how we responded to the drum, right. they right. said, oh, no, I have to take the drum. Right, right. But the drum wasn't only just a drum, something for us to... Those are complex patterns that we put together to heal the body mm -hmm. and heal the soul. And that's the same thing you do in church, sister. The same exact thing. Mm -hmm. There was a brother that came forth and said all the Negro spirituals that they used to sing in church were constructed and put together using the black keys on the piano only. Mm -hmm. No, you all need to think about that. Come on. Come on. Now, I'm yeah. saying that was just too deep for you to be sitting your ass there and saying nothing. That was heavy. Fela yeah. Kuti like yeah. said what? Music is a weapon. Yeah. But our open enemy always knew that. Come on, brother. That's right. Are you following me? Yes, that's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Prince called this music that we listen to today, this bubblegum music that they right. call rap, right. he called it disposable music. Right, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Fela Kuki said music is a weapon. How are we going to use this music today? Come on now. As a weapon. Mm -hmm. 
But our open enemy already knows that, and he's using the music right. to work against us. Yes, right. Yes. yes. Because he understands the soul. Yes. Right. Right. So when he goes and puts hip hop under the microscope, mm -hmm. and he puts it under the microscope and look deep into it, he says there was something in hip hop mm -hmm. that spoke to the masses, the black people, right. that caused them to move. Yes. Like I said earlier, collective work and responsibility. We were responsible for those songs because it was a movement. Right. Now ain't nothing moving. Right, right, right. Go ahead, brother. Are you following me? Oh, yeah. So we have to understand it because our enemy understands that. Yes. Right. So right. hip hop back in the day was the voice of the voices. Mm -hmm. Are you following me? Mm -hmm. We don't get that today. Right, right. The most you'll be able to get today is probably something from Kanye West or Common. Right, right. Maybe a blurb from a couple of other rappers, but that's it. Lupe Fiasco and some other people. But that's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you following? The vast right. majority of Rappers that are coming out today are disrespecting themselves, on, the right. culture, yes. Right. Yes. black people, their mothers and their fathers. Right. Am I right or wrong? Yes. Right. Yes. Some of them act like they ain't got grandmothers. That's right. Come on. That's right. Come on. Now, we're not dissing your ability to spit rhymes. Right. We've always had that ability to do that. Right, right. Hell, a pimp on the corner can do that. Yeah. We've always, always had a gift to gab. Right. Are you following me? All right. But see, so we're not dissing the rapper's ability. We're just saying, look, what, what is the end result of the madness that comes out of your mouth? All right. All right. At the end of the day, what does it amount to? Good question. Right. Good question. So when you hear songs like, um, meet me in the mall, it's going down. Right. Okay, at the end of the day, what? Right, right, right. Now what? Right, exactly, right. Are you following me? Right. right. Life, you gotta have it. You gotta have it. You gotta have it.